Hey guys, what's up? So it is a very important topic which people should know because it is important from environment and ecology perspective, science and technology perspective, and this is related to International Solar Alliance. So you have to consider the fact that India is one of the fastest growing major economy in the world, and we have aimed to overtake China by 2050. That is the projection which most of the economists would agree. and a nation like us which is growing at such a rapid pace and we have a lot of energy demands without energy the growth is impossible this is the word i am using so we need to meet these energy demands and uh, recently about one and a half years ago in paris in november of 2015 there was a un triple c that is united nations climate change conference and india recently also pledged to reduce its carbon emission to 30 to 35% by 2030 so it means that obviously if you are trying to reduce your carbon load you have to look for an alternative energy sources because if you are trying to reduce your carbon load you have to find some nuclear or, or wind or solar or something like that right so solar is one of them so we will discuss this so as you can see prime minister modi that is narendra modi in his speech in november of 2015 he referred to sunshine country the surya putra सूर्य पुत्र मतलब सूर्य सन पुत्र मीन्स सूर्य सन एस यू एन एंड पुत्र इज ऑल्सो सन दैट इज एस ओ एन सो सन्स ऑफ द सन बाय द इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन द स्पीच इन नवंबर 2015 एंड इट वाज एट वेम्बले स्टेडियम इन इंग्लैंड सो दिस व्हाट इज दिस इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस इज अ ट्रीटी बेस्ड इंटर गवर्नमेंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओके सो दिस वॉज द स्पीच एंड देन द डिक्लेरेशन ऑन द ओकेजन वॉज टू लॉन्च द इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस so that all the countries which are dedicated to promote the solar energy they signed an agreement on 30th of november 2015 and the framework agreement of the isa so isa i'll refer it to international solar alliance as isa opened for signatures in this place called as marrakesh in morocco in november of 2016 until now 121 countries have joined it so isa that is international solar alliance it is an alliance of more than 121 countries most of them being sunshine countries sunshine means that as you can see here so this is the zone where like it is tropic to subtropical countries where the probability of sun being there is more that is why only that is the only source of solar energy right you will not find solar energy that much on north pole so now the funny thing is isa has to be headquartered in india okay so that is the most important point which people should know and uh, in two, january 2016 narendra modi and uh, french president françois hollande they jointly laid the foundation stone of the isa headquarters in a place called as gohalpuri in gurugram india that is gurgaon okay and they inaugurated the interim secretariat of the isa at the national institute of solar energy okay and sunshine countries are either completely or partly between the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn obviously they are at equator also so now what is the primary objective of this to efficient it is the work for efficient exploitation of solar energy to reduce dependence on fossil fuels so if you just remember this slide so it should have like uh, 50% of the content is there then obviously if we have an alliance there will be strong objectives to it so the first objective is to draw on the beneficence of the sun so if you just trap like a very fraction of the sun's energy is trapped so if you trap the entire sun's energy you literally don't need any source for years to come okay that is the amount of energy that sun liberates in just one day and shared vision to bring clean affordable and renewable energy within the reach of all third is promotion of solar technology so that new companies new business model new investment new jobs in the solar sector it will enhance the prosperity as well as for the locals they will enjoy a lot then to formulate innovative uh, financial mechanisms formulate projects and programs to promote solar applications build a common knowledge e portal facilitate capacity building for promotion and absorption of solar technologies and r&d among member countries help in bending the global greenhouse gas emission curves which will provide clean and cheap energy so that we have like climate change does not happen global warming does not happen and we have like few more years to live and uh, seeking views from and secure the approval of solar resource rich countries on the proposed initiative now what is the working mechanism so it will be a multi country partnership okay so membership will be there from solar resource rich countries between the two tropics and governance and structure will have an assembly a council and a secretariat so what will assembly do they will provide guidance direction and advice so that uh, secretariat to secretariat for undertaking the activities and it will be in consultation with member countries then naming countries bilateral and multilateral organization companies industries and stakeholders will be there aim will be to overall to reduce the cost of 
फाइनेंस एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर सोलर जनरेशन एंड यू विल हैव टू हैव इमीजिएट डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव सोलर जनरेशन स्टोरेज एंड टेक्नोलॉजीज एंड देन यू हैव अडेप्ट इट शुड भी अडेप्टिव टू कंट्रीज इंडिविजुअल नीड्स एंड यू विल नीड टू मोबिलाइज दिस इज अ वेरी बिग नंबर वन ट्रिलियन डॉलर फॉर सोलर ओके एंड सो दैट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टफ विच यू नीड टू नो सो इम्प्रूवमेंट ऑफ द ऑब्वियसली क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ इन रूरल एरियाज सेमी अर्बन एरियाज दैट आर इन डार्कनेस बिकॉज देर इज नो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इट विल हेल्पफुल फॉर मेजोरिटी ऑफ द कंट्रीज विच आर डेवलपिंग विच आर फेसिंग द सिमिलर इशूज ओके फार्मर्स हू कैन नॉट यूज टेक्नोलॉजी टू इम्प्रूव प्रोडक्टिविटी इनकम दे विल ऑल्सो बेनिफिट शॉर्टेज ऑफ क्लीन ड्रिंकिंग वाटर इज देयर बिकॉज प्योरिफिकेशन कॉस्ट इज वेरी हाई लैक ऑफ मॉडर्न हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज इज देयर सो विद दैट इट विल हेल्प इन सफिशेंट नंबर ऑफ स्कूल्स आर देयर विद लाइट स्पैंस एंड मॉडर्न इक्विपमेंट दैट कैन भी हेल्प so basically we will be cooperating with each other and it will lead to solutions and business scaling up will also happen it will lead to lower cost and it in general it will have improved life for the citizens through application of solar technology and finally we have a lot of future goals first is to ensure access to affordable reliable and sustainable and modern energy for all and by 2030 like uh, have uh, affordable reliable and modern energy services increase substantially the share of renewable energy and hence international cooperation so as to facilitate access to clean energy research and technology and by 2030 expand infrastructure and upgrade technology for supplying modern and sustainable energy services for everyone in developing countries like least developed countries etc and when we talk about the progress so on june 30 2016 the isa entered into an understanding with the world bank for accelerating mobilization of finance for solar energy and the bank will have a major role in mobilizing more than 1 trillion dollars in investments that will be needed by 2030 to meet the isa's goals for the massive development of affordable solar energy so thank you for watching this lesson have an awesome day